Hello, welcome to Sally Jack's TV Mom. Well, I've only gone and done it. What's that? Well, I'm going to tell you in this vlog. So, um, <laughs> it's a bit of a long story, is this one. Yeah. I've done it and I've gone and bought a caravan. Oh, no. I went in a caravan when I was six years old and blooming hated it. And I've only gone and blooming bought one. Um, so, uh, I had my tow bar fitted yesterday. So, you can have a look at it here. No, because this is the start of the caravan journey. <laughs> so, I'm having a tow bar fitted. Um, so, my car, you know, it's always a tip pigsty so uh this is it and obviously the tow bar's going but i've got the most amazing gentleman with me called michael <laughs> social distancing of course so uh, this is michael he's from auto bars and he does a 50 mile radius of peterborough but i'm sure if you paid him a little bit more he'd probably come all the way to you wherever you are so this is um he's, he's fitting my tow bar and actually we can remove it can't we so this is a detachable one because if you get a normal tow bar and you've got parking sensors on the back, they can irritate. Um, you don't know whether they're going to irritate until it's actually fitted. So because of that, I'm just going the step above to go to, to get this. So it takes about four hours, doesn't it, this morning? Roughly, yes. Yeah. Roughly about four hours. And then I'll come out after my shows and ta-da! My tow bar is going to be there. So I'm looking forward to seeing it afterwards. Thank you very much, Michael. You're welcome. <laughs> so... Just coming out here to have a look at what the tow bar is looking like. I believe it is all finished, so very excited because I get to pick the caravan up tomorrow. I know because I'm going to be actually uh, driving it as well. So I, I'm, I'm not going to tell that lie. I am shitting bricks about doing it. Well, basically, under here, there's a little cap. You have to remove the cap. Yep. Pop your neck in. Push it up in the hole as it goes and then tilt it down tilt it down for it to lock in to lock in yeah your socket's on a little uh, hinge here so that's your socket that gives you electrics that's right. and then you can push that back up underneath the car yep it's a 13 pin yeah that pushes straight back up there yes now your wheel here is on a lock little spring yes push it in hold it in twist it around you twist it to the back and it pops out yeah if you do leave it in there are a set of keys here under the little blue cover there. Under the little blue cover? Yep, there's a little blue cover there. So if you want to leave it in, is it best to lock it when the caravan's on as well? It doesn't do anything for the safety of it. It's more to stop people from... Nicking it. Pinching it. Yeah. And that's it. And that's it. And then when, when he was doing that, this is kind of your miniature caravan. And you, when you go and switch on in the car he shows you that the fridge is on it's now live because it's the green and then he shows you that everything's working so this is the back of your caravan so that's your lights that have come on you've got your fridge that'll come on your uh, brake lights your indicators and all that works there we go he's just flashing everything now so it shows that this actually works that's how he proves that this will work and then of course you can drive off but this skin sensors are going to work on my car uh, because when you put a tow bar with your parking sensors that might not work and you won't know until it's been fitted so wah, i can't believe this but i'm gonna have a try of this on my own now so that's the tow bar fitted um, and then today I've set off mega early to come and pick it up um, left um, so I've sorted out servicing today so it's going in for its service on Monday um, I've got somebody coming round to valet it tomorrow however I did leave it to Gary this week to sort out a number plate for the back of the caravan and then I was woken up at 10 o'clock last night me getting up at 5am with Sally I forgot your number plate so I've had to call in, so on my way down, so I'm picking this uh, caravan up from Melton Mowbray, so on my way down I've had to call in to a shop in Melton Mowbray to ask them, obviously take all your documents now, uh, to see if they can do a number plate kind of last minute, but they've done it really quick, so I've got it now, so I'm about, I'm like, like, 200 yards from me caravan i've been down to see it and it's a lovely caravan i just want to put my own touches to it as everybody would and but they're a lovely couple who were buying it from um so they're just absolutely wicked they are so wicked and i'm really looking forward to it so we're hoping we may have our first trip out uh, maybe october i don't know let's see because we don't know what this blooming awful position that we're in will lead to but there's so many people buying them i'm not joking 
whichever terminology you want to use, gold dust or like rocking horse poo, you can't get older caravans for love and the money at the moment. All the sales places are like 50% sold out. It is so, so difficult. So I've got the caravan I've never towed before. What I think is a joke is that I passed my test before 1997. So do you know what? I can tow a caravan. It doesn't matter, girlfriend. However, if you pass it in 1997, you've got to go on a course. What's the difference? I really do believe that a course is for, really imperative for everybody. And I will tell you, I have tried to get lessons. I need to try and turn this around quite quickly so um, nobody can get me in for lessons. So now I've got to drive it all the way back, three and a half hours. I've never done it before, freaking out, and uh, which I am going to do. I am really nervous, but then obviously I'll then go on a lesson because nobody knows how to reverse these things either because I've spoken to a few friends that have got caravans they're going oh I don't know it's never reverse but it's got one of those motor movers on it which is like a remote control it's basically a remote control caravan once you put it in place anyway you'll see all this and the joke yes maybe you'll have a little bit of a titter uh, at how useless I am but here goes I'm about to pick it up now but I just thought I'd pull over just to film this before I do very nervous but very excited Blowing up, doing a Miss Topless, putting a Topless with me again. <laughs> <laughs> whatever works, oh, whatever, yeah. whatever brings you whatever to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> right, I think I've done that one. Yeah. And then you just. Number plate going on, but Gary's supposed to get this week his one job. So, a bit of a shocker, I'm now the owner of a caravan. <laughs> Which I can't absolutely even get my head around this. I cannot believe this is even happening to me. Um, incredible. So, I'm about to drive it. Um, very weird. Well, I have just driven a mile around just to see how I was going. Um, but I'm about to go and get on the A1 with it now. And this is very, very surreal. And I just want to... <laughs> I can't believe I'm in tenting and I can't believe I now own a caravan. This is unreal. So I've just driven all the way back, which is a bit unnerving. So I've done three and a half hours with that big lump. <laughs> so now we don't even think it's going to fit on the driveway. That's how bad it is. So um, they've managed to hook it up for me. So now I've got to unhook it and get it on the driveway. Now it's got this motor mover, but we've no idea how it works. So this is going to be a bit of a joke. So this is how it all like comes together. But we've never been caravanners, so we don't know how this works. So Gary's going to help me with this bit and we're going to try and pull it onto the driveway. Um, and hopefully it fits. Um, so I've got to tell you this, uh, getting the caravan ready and it's been for a service. So the service, just a general service should be £200, okay? And I've just had a phone call. It's got this, that and the other wrong with it. Stuff to do with underneath and it's shoes. I don't know what that means. If anybody knows the caravan in world, needs new tyres, Aldi heating, needs some more uh, fluid putting in it and all that kind of stuff. Are you ready for this? I feel physically sick like I'm going to vomit. £1,647, that's including VAT, that I've now got to pay. I feel physically sick. So now I've got to go through why they're doing this work. And you know when you panic that somebody's ripping you off? I don't know whether they are because I don't know about caravans. Normally I'm knowledgeable in things, so you can spot, no, I don't need that. Blah, 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 blah. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I'm in an area. I've never been to this garage before. I'm not saying that they would, but who knows? You don't know because there are people out there that do that. Um, oh, it's so hard. I am absolutely... Well, I feel sick. I feel physically sick today so let me update you i'm actually sat in my caravan now so i'm just putting this vlog together of this caravan journey and um i have to say for four weeks it has been um quite a uh 
Um, I mean, I can't really say nightmare because the pandemic is a nightmare. Um, so that would be a bit of exaggeration, but it's been very stressful. So I've literally had to turn it around within four weeks to be able to uh, live in it because of COVID. Um, I'm not living in it full time, obviously living in it for work. Um, and uh, it's been back and forth to that service yard. And actually, in the end, I did say I didn't know whether they were going to rip me off. They've been absolutely superb with me. Uh, there was a couple of jobs that didn't need doing it, and it was just kind of for aesthetic reasons. So I didn't have those done to try and break the cost down. Um, and then there was a couple of things that I added to it that I should never have done. Um, so I made a mistake there. But I ended up, because of COVID, it's very difficult. You couldn't really speak to them. Um, and that's because, and I'll leave you all, the, the, in the description below who I went to, but they were absolutely fantastic in the end and they've been so helpful with me. Um, and uh, it's one of the gentlemen that owns the garage that I ended up speaking to in the in, in the end because my motor mover broke and they tried to fix it and they said, listen, if we can't fix this, it's going to be another £875. I'm like, well, I'm not getting a motor mover. There's no way I'm paying all that much money. Anyway, they've managed to fix it for me. Uh, so I brought it back, but then it's not attaching itself again. So I had a problem again with a motor mover. I had to go back in again. And it turns out that anyway, I've got to put it on by a certain side to be able to use it. Um, so Gary and I have had to do a lot of um, sort of shift in the caravan that's why I've got one of these marks on my hands um, it's actually gone down a lot but I actually caught it on the caravan when we were trying to move it I was trying to put the handbrake on so um, and then we wanted to go away for the weekend and this was really really stressful so I'd finished on the Friday and I knew I needed to do a weekend away obviously I wanted to do that with the family but I knew that I needed to do a weekend away purely and simply because I, I needed to know how this thing ran I didn't know how it ran so um, and Gary said listen I'm going to let you do all of it yourself so um, I, I didn't get home from work I think it was till about something like three o'clock and um, Frankie Jack was picked up from school and I um, the mattress wasn't even on the bed because I've ordered a new mattress and um, the sofa had just arrived because I uh, got reupholstered. That's that's another story and I'll do that in another vlog when I do all the inside of the caravan uh, because I wasn't going to have that done and then I had had it done. So, but that's another story. And um, basically we set off to go to this caravan park. They knew at the caravan park we'd never been caravanning before and we didn't know how to set off, set up, sorry. And they rung us at seven o'clock at night. We were just setting off and it's going to take us about 45 minutes to get there oh the caravan park shuts at seven o'clock and i went well nobody's told me so we literally had no motor mover so we had to manhandle it off the driveway it took us forever to do really hard work i damaged my hand really badly bruised it on the end got it hooked up to the uh, car and then drove it literally to the end of the road and they rung to say don't bother turn around and go back but we couldn't get the caravan off and get it back oh it was a nightmare anyway we had one night on this caravan park and uh, and Gary said listen I'm just gonna have to let you do it on your own so I reversed the caravan I managed to reverse it on my own and um, I set it up all on my own and we had a lovely night away um, and uh, so I kind of knew how to run it but if anybody has got a caravan you know how complex it is really easy once you've learned but very hard to learn and I had to learn how to clean out all the pipe work so I had to do that at home as well uh, buy all the stuff I've had that many pipes that many water pipes food grade pipes uh, food grade um hose pipe i've had to get the uh the pipe the bobbin bit that goes in if you're hooked up to a service pump thing where you don't need the aqua roll but you have the aqua roll for the pump thing you know when you've got fully streaming water you'll know what i'm talking about if you're a caravanner um i've had to buy the pipe work to go to the the waste if you're not using your uh waste uh pull along thing oh I, I've had that many pipes being delivered <laughs> um, and obviously kettles to buy, toasters to buy, melamine, glassware, knives and forks. Where am I going to put it all? Oh, it's been it's been one long journey and that's why I haven't been vlogging. So I just wanted to let you know. What I, and then um, you're going to see in a moment, I went and put my hand through the sink. Um, so I had to have a new sink made. So that was another 125 quid. I'm like, this is 
ludicrous i felt sick and then they managed to work the motor mover and then it broke again um so it had to go back in for that and it just felt like everything i did and even the neighbors were going oh my god what else can go wrong with this caravan it just felt like everything was going wrong so it felt like a total nightmare and then things were arriving i'm having to get him sent to the neighbors because i'm at work um and then uh, i'm having to get back into the service yard take it up there they I, I mean they were just brilliant with me but i bet they were sick of seeing me um anyway uh that is um a little bit of a tale but i, I i'm not going to show you inside yet still haven't got curtains um not going to show you it inside yet i'll do that on another vlog but i wanted to let you know what had happened it has been hard work so this is what i did to the sink so as you all know me now me being a fussy fuss pot i didn't want one of that black plug because it was awful so i bought a new sort of stainless steel one from amazon and went to put it in to make the sink look nicer and literally put the plug in and it just fell through the whole thing just collapsed so there was obviously a fault with it but it went through and actually when i sent um this clip off to somebody to have a look at they said it's eroded you'll have to have a new sink so as you can imagine more swearing <laughs> <laughs> because at this point I was just at the end of my tether um, and um, I found a great guy uh, well it was the, the caravan servicing department that I went to caravan uh, CNS in Accrington um, I'll leave there their details below the service yard that I was going to they gave me a place for caravan parts and it's like in the back of beyond in um in Preston but it was absolutely superb this man was incredible because he said oh you've got a two to three week wait and I said I can't I've got to be in this thing because of covid um anyway he turned it round literally within 48 hours because these things these sinks have to be specially made because I went and picked that up and obviously then it has to go back into the service yard back to be fitted again so it's all the way back i think in the space of four weeks i went four times then i also bought um, a special food grade hose which everybody was raving about that hooks up so if you are on a service pitch where you don't need to use your aqua roll aqua roll you can use you can plug it into your caravan and plug it straight into the tap and it's just one hose so you don't need to use your aqua roll aqua roll <laughs> that's saying that um anyway i ended up we ended up going away what was supposed to be two nights but we only went one night i've just told you the tale and um i was i rung up to say that i got this pipe and they said they've never heard of it and it's a it's proper whale pipe if anybody knows caravan caravanning and they said oh no you've got to have it to your aqua roll you've got to have the water pipe come into your aqua roll and then in and then from your aqua roll into your caravan i said no i've just got one pipe no 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 we've not heard of that before so i rung around a couple of caravan places in the burnley area to speak to them and they said oh you can use those but they're not very good um because they can end up blowing i don't know something to do with your pipe working and i'm like going oh and I paid like £55 for this 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 pipe. Um, these All these pipes that were arriving. And they said, no, you need like this bobbin thing like that's in the cysteine of your, um, your toilet. Uh, does anybody know what I'm talking about? If you've got a caravan, you know what I'm talking about. And it goes in your aqua roll and it bobs and it keeps the water at set. You need that and you need your aqua roll. So you need one going from the tap to the aqua roll and then your pump going from the aqua roll into the caravan. I didn't have one. So it's like four o'clock at night on the friday night and we're supposed to be staying this night obviously we didn't because we had to turn around you know the story now what i've told you so i ended up speaking to a great guy called mark from the caravan group it's a caravan shop in hall psych listen to this listen to how great this guy was he actually gave me one because he knew he could hear in my voice i'm like oh my gosh we want to go away we've had that many problems with this caravan i haven't got the right equipment everybody's telling me not to use this i need one of these things and he said i think i've got one in the shop anyway he didn't end up having one but you know what this guy did you know how remarkable this guy was he actually gave me it from his caravan he gave it me and didn't charge me what an amazing man so i'll leave his details below so if you've ever got a problem you're in the burnley area you've definitely got to go and see him as well he was incredible so all in all i've met some really great people along the way although it's been very stressful and very hard work um um it's finally almost finished there's just one tap that hasn't arrived that's coming from france 
I haven't ordered a particular tap. I've just ordered a caravan tap, but apparently it's got to come from France. Um, because I wanted to check they had a lot of lime scale around them, so it's just the one in the bathroom. Um, but I'll tell you everything that I've done on a vlog, everything that I've changed, and obviously you'll see it from picking it up to how I've then done it up as well when these curtains are up. Um, so uh, thanks for watching. Um. I can't quite believe it. Caravan because of COVID. Who'd have thought? Um, but here we go. It's madness. It's ludicrous. But uh, so's this whole year. Uh, so anyway, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to um, press that subscribe button. We would love to have you part of our YouTube family. Um, and I will see you on the next vlog. See you later.